Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how we can better manage this storage space into MS Dataverse within the Power Platform. So for that, we are going to enable the document management services or settings which can eventually store the files or attachments related to Power Apps uh, tables eventually into SharePoint and which in turn uh, uses less storage at the Dataverse side and uh, of course like the licensing at the Dataverse related to file storage is kind of like uh, quite heavy so why not to leverage the SharePoint as a document management service for Power Apps tables attachments so let's get into that so I am into my make.powerapps.com and from here I would select my environment that is MSP1 but though like uh, I wish to go into admin center first of all so that I can show you how you can enable the document management services which can save the files into SharePoint rather than as an attachment within the Dataverse. So I am into my environments now and I'll pick one of the environment which where I would be actually giving the demo that is MSP1. And this environment does have the Dataverse with it. So I am going to use the document management services for this environment where I will be going to this integration option where I can see document management setting and synchronization. So over here what we are going to do, we are going to enable the connection between Power Platform and SharePoint where we are going to specify which site should hold the uh, files or the attachments related to which table. So that we are going to do. So once you click on document management service, you have the option of document management setting and enable service service integration so first step is to enable this so that we can have the connection established so i'm going to do that and over here after enabling we can actually choose the our environment uh, i mean the tables which can actually have the attachments and can specify the sharepoint url where it will be saving the attachments eventually so right now is defined deployment we are going to use the sharepoint online yes and in the second step, so you have to specify the SharePoint URL over here. So right now I have created one of the team site that is Power Platform Storage, which will hold these files. And you can very well create a new site from here in the SharePoint Admin Center, create and choose a team site. Just give it a name and that's it. So once the site is ready, you are uh, okay to pass on that site to your settings. So I'll just go to my this URL, pasting it clicking next so it will validate the site so once the site is done you can just say finish and you can go to the document management setting and over here you can start uh, checking your entities your tables which are eventual tables and which table should hold should hold uh, the records so you can just keep on checking this so for our demo i'll just right now i'll just cancel it and let's first of all create a table into my this environment so that we can use that table to store the attachment. So I'll just create a new table quickly. And I'll say this table as uh, invoice attachments. So probably because invoices are a heavy attachments and would like to just move all the attachments to the SharePoint so that I should not consume the spaces into the Dataverse and eventually they, that will cost me more. I'm just saying invoice table and over here I had to be need the table in advance and I need to enable this setting up SharePoint document management service so that this table can start appearing up in document management setting and after that I can just save it and I'll go back to my admin center and over here document management service And I should now start seeing that entity which I created. So over here, this invoice table is by default checked because it's the, the setting which we have already enabled that is reflected over here. And in this SharePoint site, I can define again, paste the URL of my SharePoint site. And once it's done, it will start creating the folders based on the entity into my this uh, site which we have used for the connection create the based on entity and over here you can see like uh, 
it's they are given the example so it would be the the folder structure would be like account folder and then the entity name account name and the entity name so i'm just clicking on this next and the syncing would start up so right now so it got succeed it must have created these folders i'm just saying finish and we'll just go back to our storage this power platform storage site and if i just go to this site content i would start seeing the document libraries created so i could see like invoice table this was my document library and it's empty right now because it doesn't have any row with attachment so what we are going to do for the testing we are going to create a record and attach a file to it and we should able to see the file created into sharepoint rather than as an attachment into dataverse so let's do that so i'm going back to my this invoice table and over here so for that i'll quickly say create an app so that it can create the app for it and over there we'll start adding the rows to it it will just take few seconds so we can directly play the app so that we can just create one record using the default form so over here i'll just say so once it's saved i click on the related i have the option of documents and i'll just quickly upload the document And you could see it's by default it's giving the SharePoint grid that document on default side one. So if you upload it, let's say I'm uploading something from my previous downloads and just uploading it. So it's directly getting uploaded to the SharePoint site, not to the a row at the database table level. So if I refresh it, you will see the same attachment file to be created under this folder with the this is the test record which we created and file is this one so that's how you can enable the connection between power apps platform tables records attachment to be directly stored into sharepoint and saves on the space at the dataverse side so space of course storage is costlier into dataverse so just keep in mind it's wise to use the sharepoint space which is almost free for us and have the heavy lifted files to be stored in SharePoint rather than Dataverse. So that's the tip of the day. So that's it for the video. If you have any questions, please do drop your comments. I try to answer. And that's it. Thank you.